Hey y'all, I'm back with another book review. Um, I from just finished um, Brene Brown's Dare to Lead. I love Brene Brown. I forget how much I love her. I think I needed a break from her um, because it just, it things weren't hitting me as hard anymore. And I was like, oh, okay, I need a break. And then I read this and I'm just like, oh my God, I love her. This is a new one. It's one of the newest since Lip Bestseller and she's just so, she's a key about vulnerable, being vulnerable um, as a leader, but not sharing too much information, which I thought was super interesting because a lot of people do that. They like explode information on you to be vulnerable, but then they're not vulnerable. It's like, it's not, you're not really seeing them. Um, it definitely was such such an inspiring read and it, it took me a little bit longer because it takes a while for things to sink in sometimes but like I still love all of her stories and I know that she repeats a couple of them but like they're still impactful like the one about the marbles or in the jar and like each friend having marbles and stuff like that but like she is such a good person for vulnerability and just being yourself and just being able to be a person and like the other thing that I thought was key is that she has a few people that she's openly vulnerable with and um, says what she thinks. But those people are the people that she trusts the most. And it's like the marbles in the jar. Like the tr people she trusts the most have the most amount of marbles. And you know that no matter what you say, you're going to love them. My best friends are both that way. I love both of them. Because no matter what I say, but at the end of the day, I know they still care about me. And I know... Um, that it's great to have that vulnerability and to be able to be open like that and the fact that leaders they have to know the balance between vulnerability and um too much vulnerability just being like this is how it is like being open but not being like like overly sharing and I thought that was brilliant because like there's two types that um, leaders that struggle that I noticed in the book where it's being too vulnerable or not being vulnerable at all and so you have to like have an equal balance when you're a leader and I just loved it and I loved how she was super when her team came to her she was totally open to what they had today what they had to say because like it had to do with time and she's not good with time management or understanding when day deadlines are due and um I thought it was interesting that they were like we want to help you we want you to know that you are really bad at this and that you need to really work on this and she was like she was very open to it and allowing it to be like you know what you're right my husband says the same thing like it was just so nice to see like she is she was able to take the criticism as a leader and move forward and improve and get better on her schedule and um, get better in that area. And I just think that if you want to be inspired to lead people, this is like one of the best. I've read so many leadership books that are like scattered throughout my library. And I think this is probably my favorite, favorite of all time. So the new sticker, that is the new bestseller. Could not get that off, by the way. Um, so that was kind of annoying. But, um, other than that, I definitely would recommend it. Always recommend Brene Brown. She's so brilliant and she's so able to get to people's hearts and see what's really going on and seeing why people are the way they are and, like, um, having an understanding with people because we don't, we don't necessarily have to know everything about somebody but we have to have an understanding and compassion and I definitely appreciate that about Renee Brown. Um, anyway I hope you all enjoyed this review and I hope you all have a great day.